Good morning, folks. Kind of. iMovie decided to delete today's news with 15 seconds left before processing was complete. I'll get that figured out by tomorrow, but for today, we have some updates coming later, including a special Sunday fly on the wall, so let's just get a quick few notes out to you now. In New Mexico, a lot of you know and remember that last month we reported the radiation leak at WIP, the underground storage facility. A few days later, we reported that workers had been exposed to radiation, and a few days after that, we reported that the operators claimed that every one of those will be just fine. We're now learning that there was plutonium in the air, so we'll wait and see. That storm that was north of Australia, the one that had a sister, got a name yesterday and is slated to head due south. In Europe, the northwest is unseasonably warm, still taking heat off the leading east convergence of that low that it has cut off the Arctic from the heat at this time. In the United States, a couple systems out in the Pacific are drawing moisture and heat directly at the coastline. We're going to have major flash flood warnings for the northwest states and up into Canada. Not much happening on the sun. We are taking some small M flares, high C flares, but no bigger ones as of yet. Top sunspot is actually incoming on the southeastern limb. All the filaments remain stable. The earth-facing coronal hole is kind of small, not too strong, and there's a bit of umbral blocking to that. There were no earth-directed CMEs yesterday. Now, the reason why there was no fly on the wall yesterday is because I was in Pittsburgh with Suspect Sky. We had to film a few quick shots that you're all going to see soon. It's for the upcoming Mobile Observatory project. We'll be able to watch meteors, perform experiments, and monitor radiation from things like Fukushima or this New Mexico event, whichever one ends up being uglier. More updates on that special Sunday fly on the wall today, as I said. We're also going to be discussing Earth's plasma stiff arm to the solar wind impacts, that article from Themis. Not as new as you might think. And also we're going to talk about that NASA article that mentioned Planet X. This will be helpful for newcomers and veterans alike. We're going to hit the facts and give a bit of our opinion on the matter. Current conditions and plasma filaments on the limb is what I would recommend you go look at to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.40 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.